This is the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk. Thank you all for joining us here at the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk as we are on the road and across the street from the WBNG studios at the largest Dick's House of Sports in the country. And I am standing next to a member of the New York Giants Ring of Honor, a first team Big Ten superstar, wide receiver, Super Bowl champion, over 500 receptions, 50 touchdowns, Amani Toomer. Thank you so much for joining us. I just got to ask, you got all these Giants fans behind you here. What does it mean to be here in the Southern Tier and see all this blue and red here behind you? Well, I mean, we used to come to training camp up here, and I miss, you know, this excitement bringing it up here. So we're coming out back here, seeing this Dick's uh, House of Sport, it's amazing. All the two floors, all 100,000, I think, square feet of just all sports equipment. It's, it's, it's my, when I, if I was a little kid, coming here would be a dream come true. So we're getting ready for fall sports here in Section 4. Football started up a couple of weeks ago. You see the young athletes here. Why is it important to you to get out in the community and kind of encourage that participation in youth sports? Well, because sports offers so much for young kids and, you know, team sports especially because, you know, you learn how to work with the team. You learn... Um, the discipline, the sacrificing for other people, and all that together really helps you throughout your entire life because there's going to be a coming time where you're going to have to do a group project with somebody. You're going to have to work with other people and, bring, and getting used to it when you're young, working with other people in sports is one of the things that, that I really helped me a lot in life and I feel like something that should keep on going because sports is very important in our society, I think. Well, you certainly worked well with the, the blue, the big blue with yeah. the G-men yeah. during your term, your career there, including a Super Bowl. Yeah. We come in here, it's 2024, 2025. What are your thoughts? What are your expectations as we get ready for the season? Uh, we were talking about it earlier. Every time the team is, especially the Giants or anybody in the NFC East, is supposed to be on top, that's usually when they, they crumbled. We're supposed to be on the bottom, hopefully, this year. You know, we'll put it all together. I think Dable and uh, Sheehan have put together a good team. Uh, with the roster where you know trying to turn it turn over the roster uh, Hopefully we'll get some entertaining football and hopefully they'll be a little bit better than last year But I like the way they finished last year when they didn't have to and they still came out and competed at a, at a very high level um, I just I, I really like watching this team well, we wa loved watching you when you were a giant, and we love watching you here on the WBNG Airway. So we appreciate your time. We appreciate you giving us a few moments. Oh, thank you very much, thank Mr. You. Toomer. Thank you very much. Now, the Giants not the only ones getting ready to kick off for football season this year. Our preseason playbooks continue as we head out to Moravia, and the Blue Devils get ready to defend their eight-man championship. The Blue Devils losing in the New York State Championship left a sour taste in their mouths. Seniors Thomas Palmer and Scott Raymond believe what they bring to the team this season can help them be crowned champions in 2024. I think me is more like mentally about like being a leader and knowing all the plays and everything. I'm not the strongest like or the fastest guy in the room, but I think I can put my skills out on the field pretty well. For me, it's physicality. Uh, you just got to watch out for when the ball is snapped and where I'm headed to. The Blue Devils are also debuting a brand new turf this season. For head coach Fred Ott, he's excited about the team now being able to play all year under the Friday Night Lights. The last few years, I've always brought the you know the portable lights in to get at least one Friday night game. Um, community seems to love it, so I think you know that to me is even more important than the turf. The turf's awesome, but having those lights is uh, is, is just a great thing for the community and getting those Friday night lights going. It's gonna be awesome. The 2024 season is also a farewell year for two coaches. Scott Batman has spent more than two decades on Moravia sideline. His love for the school is more than just skin deep. I believe blue and everybody kind of coincides me with that because I've uh, coached many different sports over my longevity. Assistant coach Ken Palmer is also retiring after 33 years of coaching. This last group of Blue Devils holds special meaning for him. His son Thomas is playing as a senior. This whole group I've coached since they were six years old. So I did, I did uh, flag football all the way up through with this group. So this is, this is my group. This is last year's group. For me. I always told them they were my state champion group. But we didn't quite get there last year. That quest for a state championship begins against a familiar foe, rival Groton, a game that the coaches have circled in the calendar for several reasons. Kind of ran it up on us a little bit, and we were like, we'll have something for them next year. Got back to the Section 4 championship, but prior to that, we had to play them, and they were hyping them up all year, number two in the state. Uh, we got a chance to play them at their homecoming. They saved our homecoming, their senior game, their unveiling of the field, and we got out there to go out there, and we dominated. 60-6, to six. it was beautiful. The Blue Devils will debut the new turf and take on their rival September 27. Keith Savage, 12 Sports, Cayuga County.
That is going to be it for us here from the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk on the road today, reporting live from the Dick's House of Sport in Johnson City. Zach Grady, 12 Sports, Broome County.